Review number one. Of all our baby swag, this is hands down my favorite. Our son slept in a freestanding bassinet for a couple weeks but outgrew it, so we switched over to this. I wish we had started with it. The first section of this review pertains to arms reach CO sleepers in general, the second part is specific to this model. The last paragraph shares a couple of tips that have worked really well for me with CO sleeping. I love the CO sleeper because it allows me to lay down next to baby and watch him fall asleep. I think that being beside him is comforting to him and I know it's comforting to me. Smiley face, with the freestanding bassinet, my options were to sit or stand beside him to watch or to let him fall asleep in my arms or on our bed and then try to transfer him. Before he was born, those options both sounded completely reasonable, after he was here, not so much. Mama likes her sleep I can't even imagine walking down a hallway to get to him in the middle of the night. The AAP recommends room sharing but not bed sharing because it reduces SIDS rates, unless a parent is a smoker. I've also seen a couple of studies that conclude that, when in the same room, mom and baby's sleep cycles sync up so that baby wakes up when both are in a light phase of sleep. After sleeping with this product, I believe that's true. Even though I'm waking up in the middle of the night, I'm surprisingly easy to rouse. Plus, since baby is right beside me, I wake up when he starts whimpering rather than when he's full on crying, which is more pleasant for us both. Baby is a couple inches lower than the bed, and there's a short railing on the side of the bassinet that adjoins the bed. This is a safety design so mom can't roll onto baby and baby can't roll into mom's path. I've seen some reviews complaining that mom's expected to just slide baby over for breastfeeding, and that is not the case. I do have to sit up, reach over, and pick baby up then scoot back to the head of the bed to sit and breastfeed. However, my legs never come out from under the covers, so this is way better than standing up or having to walk down the hallway. When we're both laying down, he is truly within arm's reach. I can touch him, pick up his pacifier, etc. As to this model specifically, I chose it because it was the least expensive and I have no regrets. The manufacturer's webpage shows pictures of all the models side by side, so it's a good place to get an idea of the differences. This model is attractive, but it prioritizes function over appearance, under that fabric is metal tubing that resembles a hand truck or library cart. However. The fabric softens it up nicely and the bassinet is very stable. The biggest positives I see for this model over others are price and adjustability. This one can be adjusted in 2 inch increments it has a system like crutches or school desks where you press a button on the leg and adjust up or down, then the button pops back out at the next setting. I like this because it's hard to gauge what your height preference will be without actually having the bassinet. For the record, I measure my bed at 28 inches but I prefer the lowest height setting, which places the top of the mattress at 19.5 inches from the floor. The potential negatives for this model are looks, small size and lack of portability slash versatility. I think it's quite attractive, but the other models definitely have more attention to design. With a footprint of 34x20. It's also the smaller version, depending on your space, that could be positive or negative. The ideal CO sleeper is roughly the same size as a pack and play at 39x25. Some of the other models function more like a pack and play in that they fold up with a carrying case and convert to a play yard, so keep that in mind when you're choosing this one converts to a freestanding bassinet but does not fold up or convert to a play yard. Also, the other models require separate risers if you want to increase the height. Edit. 
My son is now three months old and will outgrow this soon. He's a big guy, tracking more like a six or seven month old, but I'm bummed that we won't be able to keep using this as long as I'd expected. If you have any height in your family tree, you might want to consider one of the larger models. Edit. We're closing in on five months, and my little guy, tracking at the 85th percentile for height, is still comfortable in this. I'm pleasantly surprised. He is quite cozy, but it looks like he'll outgrow it around the same time he starts pulling up. I couldn't be happier with this CO sleeper. Edit. My baby finally outgrew this at 5.5 months, he actually still fit, but started moving around too much in his sleep. I'm glad we went with the smaller size as the larger size would have been a tight fit in our bedroom. This was a great, great purchase. Finally, a couple tips that made my CO sleeping experience even better. Smiley face, first, some other reviewers, on other models, mention having to get rid of bedside tables. I did not get rid of mine, but I did rotate it 90 degrees so that the drawers open away from the bed. I put the CO sleeper beside slash below the nightstand and can still easily see and reach baby. However, I don't have room for a lamp there, so I set up a lamp a few feet away with a remote control outlet. Search Amazon for examples. That enables me to wake up with baby, turn on a light, pick him up, and feed him, all without getting out of bed. Amazing. Review number two. This model of CO sleeper is perfection. It is a nice neutral chocolate brown and green. It has mesh on all four sides which was my number one reason for getting this so I can see the baby and for better baby breath ability if she rolls close to the side. My number two reason was the cheaper price. The legs are adjustable, which I think is better than the other arms reach models, as the other models require you to buy separate leg extenders. Bottom basket seems pretty useless, since wipes slash divers can be stored in the side pockets. This model is also great because it has wheels on all four legs so you can move around as necessary, i.e. roll into the bathroom when you need to shower, etc., and each roller has a separate brake if you need it to be stationary. The pad is fairly thin, but Baby's R Us has one that fits perfectly for about $20, the mattress is 31x18. I put both mattresses in, original and brew to give more cushion. Only negative about this particular model is that it doesn't fold up and store in a carrying case like some of the other models. Otherwise, great item. In lieu of the expensive sheets, you can use a king-sized pillowcase. Review number 3. I bought this item for my son and daughter-in-law and they are very pleased so far. Very easy to assemble. We LL see if it's cat proof when the baby arrives. Review number 4. Please get this if you will have a newborn in the house. Especially if you are breastfeeding. What a game changer. We ordered this for our second child, who is much more content and less fussy than our 2.5 daughter was as a baby, but nonetheless would not sleep longer than an hour, sometimes only 10 minutes in the pack and play or bassinet we had set up for the first week. This came in yesterday and last night he slept the entire night in the ca sleeper except for his nursing every two to four hours. It literally took us weeks with my daughter to get to this point. I feel great at one week postpartum, which I never thought I'd say. FYI on our setup, Arms Reach has a bunch of options. We chose the clear blue because it was cheaper, we didn't need a play yard, have a pack and play, and the wheeled legs are adjustable instead of having to buy an extension kit. I also got a 18x31 bassinet pad from Baby's R US, 
which is on top of the thinner softer included one. Also ordered an arms reach plush sheet, which is on it now so haven't used the included thinner one. Review number 5. My baby has problems to sleep. We tried three different cribs before this. We ended up putting her with us in the middle of the bed, but since that was my last option due baby's safety. I searched and founded this amazing product. It is durable, easy to assemble, portable so you can move it around the house, and with the CO Sleep Here feature your baby is close enough but not with you, attachment to your bed. It lets you take a look while your baby sleeps without getting up plus you can lie close that the baby feels protected. Review number 6. Love 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 this sleeper. I am using it still with my 5 month old. It's sturdy, and is very strong when attached to the bed. It's small so it doesn't take up crazy amounts of space but even at 24 inches my daughter has room to grow in it still. I added a thicker sheet because the mattress it comes with is very firm. So happy with the purchase. Review number 1. Of all our baby swag, this is hands down my favorite. Our son slept in a freestanding bassinet for a couple weeks but outgrew it, so we switched over to this. I wish we had started with it. The first section of this review pertains to arms reach CO sleepers in general, the second part is specific to this model. The last paragraph shares a couple of tips that have worked really well for me with CO sleeping. I love